Hello everyone. Today's saint inspiration comes from our beloved patron saint, Matrona the Blind of Moscow, who lived from 1881 to 1952. She was not only blind with no eyes, but for most of her life, she was unable to even walk. We might be able to walk or be able to physically see, but we might sometimes be spiritually blind in our lives. Therefore, we need to remember and be inspired by St. Matrona's holy life and absorb her every word. Her words always ring true. Her life work is now our primer for us on how to survive life in today's post-Christian age. St. Matrona said, cross yourself as often as possible. She explained that the cross is like a lock on a door and it is powerful protection against the forces of evil. I love how she says powerful and not just protection, but powerful protection against the forces of evil. She also repeated that one must always bless one's food before eating. Saint Matrona spoke simply without many words. She gets right to the point. She taught never to judge your neighbor. Why judge other people? She said, think more of yourself. Every sheep will be hung by its tail. What business do you have with others' tales? Think of yours. Wow, those are some powerful words. She also said, go to church and don't watch anyone there. Pray with your eyes closed or look at some icon. You know, St. Seraphim Sarav gave the same advice as well as some of our other Holy Fathers. All in all, there was nothing in Matrona's advice that contradicted the Holy Fathers. During the Soviet Union days of communist processions, Saint Matrona told people not to go outside. She instructed people to shut the windows and the doors tightly because she said crowds of demons were everywhere and occupied the space and even people. She also told people to frequently light the flames in front of our home icons. I do this often when I feel unsettled about something. I go ahead and pick a saint and I light a candle in front of the icon and say a prayer and suddenly I feel much more peaceful. It is said that St. Matrona spoke in parables, but she often reminded people to keep our senses aware. In other words, she simply said, we need to keep the windows of our souls shut against the evil spirits. That was true during her time, and it is true today. If your faith is alive and well, you can strive to shut out the evil from your life. If a person has rejected faith, and the remembrance of God, then the evil one has penetrated their life. They are left hopelessly defenseless and then confusion seeps in. And we can only ma imagine that that is a scary place to be. As my friend in Christ, St. Matrona, has a pa very powerful influence and an inspirational influence on me also. Sometimes I feel like I'm a Christian in name only. However, this blind saint reminds me when my eyes have become closed to God. Metropolitan Gregory Posnikov of St. Petersburg once said, we would be unworthy of the name Christian if waking from sleep we were to open only our physical eyes and not our spiritual ones, and were to think first of the earth and of earthly things and not of the Lord God. So let us all be inspired by the teachings of St. Matrona the Blind today, and let us also start each day with morning prayers and crossing ourselves and asking that the Lord's will be done in our lives. 
May the peace of the Lord reside in your hearts. Have a good day.